Hey everybody, welcome back to Going Ballistic. Here's what we got for you guys today. These new EPR rounds, the M80A1, this is a 308. They also come in a 556. There's a whole big buzz going about these things on, you know, that they're the newest, latest, greatest armor piercing round. But are they all that when they stack up against the older rounds, like the regular black tip and stuff? Well, we got seven rounds you can check out right here. We're going to see how the M80A1 stacks up against all these different rounds to include World War II rounds. Um, these things can cost up to about 20 bucks a round, which is ridiculous, when you can get other black tip round and even older ammo for 50 cents a piece. So we're going to see how they stack up against Legacy Ammo. So what we also got set up is Chrono, so we can see how fast each round is going, because as you guys know, speed kills so the faster the round usually the better the penetration it will have so we're gonna start off with the m80 a1 these are pretty cool looking rounds clear all right let's check out this round you see in the chrono it was 20 873 feet per second. It doesn't look like it penetrated the AR400 plate. We're going to take it apart. See what she looks like on the back side here. So you can see right here it made a, a good dent on the back side. You can still see part of the projectile stuck in the plate, but it did not go through. All right, so the next round we're going to show you is the difference between the M80A1 and just an M80 ball round. So here we go. All right, so now we're going to go with the M80 ball round, Lake City. Clear. All right, so that was the M80 ball round. You can see right here, it actually did make a decent dent. Let's take this apart and see what it did on the back side. All right, you can see right there, did a pretty decent job for just a ball round versus our $20 EPR round. The next round we're going to get set up for is the 7.62 by 54R a Mosin round. It's a Russian round. So here we go. This is a 7.62 by 54R LPS tuna can round. One of your standard rounds. Clear. All right, that wasn't too bad for a tuna can round, the 7.62 by 54 LPS round. So if you want to come in here, and you can see it does have a mild steel core in it. And um, it did about the same as the regular 308 round. But let's take this apart and see how it did. All right, so not much there, just a little bit. I don't know if you can see that. So not bad speed, 2760 on the chrono. So that was an old rifle. We're not sure if he was aiming here or aiming here, but anyways, he hit pretty close on target. All right, so I guess this is the battle of the tuna cans. This is our World War II surplus round we're gonna do next. It's an M2AP 30-06 round. 
let's go Merca. So this is a 30-06 M2 AP round, and we're going to shoot it out of Grandpa's hunting rifle. Clear. All right, not bad for a World War II tuna can round. That uh, the chrono on it was 2715 feet per second, which was slower than the Russian round we just shot, and it went through it. So went through the first plate. Let's see what it did to the second. We got quite a gap in between here. We we put these blocks of wood in here um, we're not trying to go through two plates but so there's the exit and here's the impact on the second plate which again was a little uh, inch and a half or so away all right so we got some of the penetrator here it's still nice and hot pretty cool all right so now we're going to take that same round and put it in a modern 308 and see how it does against our AR 400 so here we go so this one is the 308 M2 AP armor piercing standard new rounds Clear. All right, so that was the M2 AP loaded in a modern round here, 308. And you can see right here, it penetrated right through the AR400 steel. So let's see how that one did. All right, so that, that round went 2,682 feet per second, which was a little slower still than our EPR round and much better. So right here you can see just a nice clean hole right there it just punched right through it and actually looks like it fragged into two pieces because we got two two small hole uh, dents right there but that was really cool all right so next up we got some surplus 308 api rounds so here we go All right, that was awesome. That was a 308 API surplus round. It was loaded pretty hot. You can see right here, it made some beautiful artwork. Went right through the first plate. And let's see what she did. Ooh, pretty good. Nice clean exit. And then, right here on our second. And that was at a speed of 2,886 feet per second. So not bad. Now we're going to get set up for our last round. This is a 308 FN black tip round. So we're going to see if this baby can do better on these two plates than the other. So hang tight. Here we go. Okay. This is a FN AP custom load 308. Moving. came back <laughs> and I didn't like have ears all right that was our FN AP round here custom load on the chrono you can see 2956 feet per second uh, hit right on target there let's see what the exit wound looks like here not bad and then we have the impact right here which has been about the same as the other AP rounds. And there's been nothing, nothing on the back. 
of our second plate. All right, so the whole thing for this, this test was to show that our M80A1 is um, a higher performance round than our regular M80. So if we had to see our ranking for today, we'd say these three are in the top, are the top three rounds. Obviously the FNAP would probably be number one. Oh, and you can tell that by the back plate here, I would say the API was two, this one was third. Fourth would be our World War II 60 year old round out of a tuna can. Um, obviously the powder is degraded a little bit but still penetrated the first plate. So in fifth place would be our EPR round. It is uh, an enhanced performance round over the M80 but it's just, is it really worth 40 times the price of a World War II round? I mean really? So uh, hope you guys liked the test. Uh, thanks Moab Manufacturing, Springs Armory for having us out again today. Thank you guys for watching. Hit that subscribe button and we'll be back.